But first, we head to the mountains where Beach Mountain Parkway is closed tonight after a number of crashes and cars stuck in the roadway. Local law enforcement and NCDOT spent the past few hours working to clear things so they could get it plowed and salted. Meanwhile, new video from the base of Beach Mountain shows just how much snow fell in the mountains tonight. You can see at least a few inches there, especially on the tables. All that snow caused what you're about to see here in a second. Yes, parts of this roadway just completely blocked. What are we looking at here, Brad? My yeah, goodness. so this is the parkway, the uh, Beach Mountain Parkway. If you've ever driven up there, there's a bunch of switchbacks, and this is the uppermost switchback. And if you've never driven in the mountains, a switchback is basically a sharp turn in the road so that you're not driving straight mm -hmm. uphill. The problem is most of those vehicles, I know you see some SUVs, yeah. I guarantee a lot of them were two-wheel drive, oh. and gravity is going to always win because no matter how great the car is, when that grade is like that, mm -hmm. you just get no traction. And tonight, guys, I just got an update from the mountain. About 14 to 15 inches of snow wow. has fallen up there today. Oh my and God. just to give them perspective, the season total up until today was 11.5. So we've surpassed the season total in one single day. And now we're pushing 26 inches of snow for the season. Just an incredible amount of snow in such a short period of time. Now, there's snow continuing. I think we could top 20 inches up there at Beach Mountain. So there's the parkway. That's the road. See all those squiggles? Those are the switchbacks. So the video you saw is from the uppermost one. It's kind of the last one before you get into the mountain. And again, that's really steep. Remember, you're getting up there around 5,500 feet. The town of Beach Mountain is there. So once you get up there, you're at the highest town in the eastern U.S., and that's a tough road to travel. So snow still falling there. It's not much better over towards Banner Elk and Sugar Mountain, though the lower elevation roads are a little better. Again, now we're pushing 16 inches of snow. Got report of three foot snow drifts at the top near the patrol shack. There's the clearing taking place to the south. So this is the Arctic air, which is going to move in overnight. So temperatures will fall. And by tomorrow morning, we're likely going to see temperatures down into the 20s. Winter storm warnings are still in effect for this area until 7 a.m. tomorrow. So we're not expecting conditions to improve much overnight. They really won't improve until later in the week. So overnight lows, 20s and 30s. Coming up, we've got another blast of cold air and more snow from the mountains coming up in the extended forecast.